Hello, honey, and welcome back to my channel. I am a Bumblebee Fern. You can find me over on Instagram at LeFrolickingFern. And today, we're gonna be unboxing a magical folk box. So I know this subscription box kind of company has changed quite a bit over the past year with uh, everything going on. And after a couple of months of not receiving anything, and I didn't pay for anything either, so it's not like they just didn't send me a box, but they actually changed my subscription to one of the smaller packages. I don't think they have the largest um, full bundle set anymore. So we're gonna see what's in this box and I'm very excited to share with you. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so looks like this small box packs quite a punch. We have this pack right here, and I'm actually not even sure what bundle this is because like I said, they kind of changed it, and I don't even know if I was um, told about which subscription box it is. So I'm definitely gonna have to go check out their site, but we have this little pack of, looks like ephemera here, maybe some cards. See what she is. So we've got some cards here. We have a beautiful artwork. You can see that. So pretty. Beautiful like watercolor artwork right there of the yin and yang, yin and yang, yin and yang, yin and yang. Let me know which one you say down below. I've always said yin and yang, but then people say yang, and I don't know which one it is. So the second piece we have here is the Inner Balance Ritual. Very cool. And it's on a nice piece of chipboard, which I love. I like that it's black too. That's actually really cool. Different than what you normally see in boxes. And then these, I believe are, oh. So these are about the different, the different kits. So I'm not sure if all of these kids are in this box, but we have um, the monthly meditation kit, Embracing Duality. We have the Witch's Trunk, the Ritual Tea Kits, and the Crystal Alchemy Kit. So we'll have to see if all of those are in this box. I'd be pretty amazed if they were. So if you haven't checked out my video unboxing of their biggest box um, that was available a while back, definitely go check that out. I'll try to leave the link somewhere in this video. Um, but yeah, they have some really cool items. It's definitely kind of a different box than your typical subscription box. So here is all of their info. Okay, so it talks about the different combo kits that you can get. Maybe we'll look into that a little bit more and then the different um, boxes that they have. So let's dive into this. We have a Sun Salutations Ritual Tea of Honey Bush, Honey Bush, Calendula, and Lemongrass. So this looks like a really nice tea. Looks nice and chunky and there's definitely a lot of it, which is really nice. I just ripped the thing, but oh well, I'm about to put it into a jar. Give her a sniff. Mmm. Ooh, that lemongrass really is nice with the that kind of honey smell, honey bush. I never even heard that. I think I would, considering I am a bumblebee. So beautiful tea. I absolutely love that. It's in a nice big package like that. It's really nice. So next, I believe they put their each individual like kit into these baggies. So the kits are very small. So it's not like you get like a full box for each kit. So it is cool that she does a bundle so you can really personalize what you're wanting to kind of gear your practice around these boxes. So I believe this is probably the alchemy kit, I'm guessing. So we have this oil empath. Ooh, beautiful. Hawthorne, clove, gardenia, botanical, ritual perfume. Gorgeous. And it looks like we have two little um, stones in here, maybe like a moonstone and a black tourmaline, I'm guessing. You can see that, it's really, really pretty. You can definitely give her a smell, nice roller ball. Let's see. Ooh, that's actually really pleasant. I don't like like super florally, like punch you in the face scents, but this is really nice. Really feminine, it honestly just, 
really feminine. It honestly just reminds me of a walk through the garden when all your fresh flowers are blooming and it smells really, really nice. So the next thing we have in here is a stone and this looks like maybe a piece of onyx. I could definitely see some transparency and then it has that nice dark color. So it could be a smoky quartz, but I feel like it might be onyx. So beautiful little collection there. And like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the alchemy kit. So we have our tea kit and our alchemy kit. So, and I was like a little surprised. Like I didn't know what to expect at all when I first got this box or first got the first box I got from them. So I'm really happy that I can kind of help provide a little bit of insight on what these look like if, like if you haven't seen a kit from them before. So next we have this little kit right here. And I'm not sure what this is. I'm guessing this box right here is the witch's trunk, I'm pretty sure. So we have lemon verbena, nice pack of it. And then we have some crystals in here. So this is probably the crystal, what do they call it? Crystal alchemy kit. So that might be what this is. So we have, it looks like two pieces. I wonder if this is, I'm not sure what this is actually. It's like a raw, um, rough form of some kind of agate. I wonder if it's like a zebra agate or something. I don't think so. And then it looks like we have maybe some calcite here. Could be what that is, like honey calcite or something. Very cool. And then lastly in our box, I believe this is the last thing. Yes, so we have this little guy. And I'm not sure if this is a witch, witch's trunk or the meditation kit. That might be what this is, like the meditation kit for, I'm not sure. We'll have to read about it. That is one thing I do wish you like kind of maybe put some more information in with each kit so that you can kind of see, but it does tell you in there, so it's not too hard to figure it out. So, ooh, this is actually really cool. So we have a little sea urchin which goes along perfectly for the ocean theme that I have unboxed so far this month. So cute little sea urchin. You can also put like a little plant or something. I've seen that do people put air plants in those. We have this adorbs, like little itty bitty vial. I don't know if you can see this. Look how super cute this is. Oh my gosh, it is so, so cute. I'm gonna just like put on a necklace or keep it in my bra as like, Looks like the little Verita serum from Harry Potter. Oh my God, adorable. So adorable. We have a, ooh, we have some wax. So we have like a wax stick here for wax stamps. Very cool. We have some jars in here. So we've got Hex Breaker on Crossing Salt. That's really, really nice to have. You wouldn't think like you have a hex on you, but there are so many ways to hex people. Like a lot of people think like to be hexed, you have to be, you know, have a witch after you and have some crazy spell put on you. But really it's just, say you're driving on the, you know, driving on the street and then you accidentally cut somebody off. The, like the bad thoughts of that person can really put some negative energy and negative karma on you. So there's always, it's always good to have a hex breaker and kind of just, um, and practice that kind of uncrossing and cord cutting thing. But look at this gorgeous, gorgeous little butterfly wing. I love this so much. Even though I'm not sure what she it means, this means for us to do with it, but even just keeping this in like a little um, curio, curio type cabinet is just so adorable. I absolutely love the look of this. I love that so much. I might keep that in my like fey altar or something. Next we have ancestral, ancest ancestral spirit salt. Very cool. So this definitely goes along with my ancestral vibes recently, especially with my own ancestral connection box. That is now available by the way on my site. I'm so excited about it. And I will definitely be kind of taking some, taking some notes on this because it's so cool. There's so many ways to approach ancestral connection and it really flows in with shadow work as well. So this is really, really cool to get somebody else's um, perspective on ancestral work. 
very, very light smelling. I, I don't even really smell anything at all, but you can kind of smell that lavender coming through. It looks like maybe there's some, um, some of like the red, I don't, I don't know how to say it, red alakia salt um, and lavender and maybe some dead sea salt in there as well. Some something else as well, I mean, maybe some poppy seeds or something, but very, very pretty little jars. Super, super nice. And you know, I love my little baby cork jars. So very, very cute. Love this little kit. Very, very interesting. Like kind of an overall um, kit. And it doesn't seem like it's too themed. So I do love like the addition of that really cute little ornamental piece with the butterfly wing. So let's read a little bit and see if we can figure out what is going on here. So, oh, so yes, this was like the inner balance ritual right here. So, and I just drop all my stuff. But first we have the witch's trunk. Yep, so that is this right here. Altar curiosities for Gemini, June seasonal energies, ancestor salt file and hexbreaker salt file, butterfly wing file, spirit doll hearts, the amber oil. Oh, very cool. So that's what this is, spirit doll heart. I just got a good idea. Um, pink sea urchin, sea, Pink, pink sea urchin shell, sealing wax stick, Gemini altar print and guided meditation print, and then the Gemini online workshop. So very cool. And then it gives you a code if you want to enter the workshop, which is really, really cool. And I'm not gonna obviously give that, um, I'm not gonna give that out. But if you are curious about it, definitely go check it out. So very, very cool. I'm not gonna read everything. Um, I do wanna read something about the spirit dolls because it, they did give us like this little vial, which I think is super, super cool. And I have an idea of what I would want to do with it. It says spirit dolls and medicine bags reconnect us to ancestral magic and medicine, shielding against malevolence. The blend channels the highest good of the ancestors. Using the uh, amal amalgam at the heart when crafting a spirit doll invokes the ancestors love, wisdom, and strength. At a time where we where we encourage we are are encouraged to explore, explore oh my gosh sorry y'all explore the shadows in search of our inner light hex breaking salt can be used in rituals to cleanse the mind body and soul transmit the cords of cut tethers to whatever holds you back from flowing with the winds change very very cool so I'm not gonna read any more of that but that's really really neat about the vial and y'all might see something um, something to do with that in the future because I really love the idea of that especially since I've been working so deeply with ancestral connection. So embracing duality. So this is the, this kit right here. And this is the monthly meditation kit. So zebra calcite, honey and zebra and honey calcite, lemon verbena, Gemini art print and guided, guided meditation print. And then the Gemini online workshop. So very cool. Very interesting how they put these different kits together. And it seems like each um, each kit comes with a live workshop. So really diving deep into the different kits that they provide, which is really neat. I do love that. Next is the sun salutation. So that was our tea, the sun salutation ritual tea, an herbal blend of honeybush, calendula, and lemongrass, Gemini altar print, prints and guided meditation print, Gemini online workshop. So very, very cool. It says, as the sun draws near, Hearkening to the summer's dawn, it is illuminating rays. Its illuminating rays shine brightly upon us, body and body, heart and soul. Father Sun reminds us to open our shadows to Him, enabling our inner light to shine bolder and brighter. The yogic practice of sun salutations allows us to channel the elemental energy of the sun. The physical and energetic movement honors not only the sun but the resplendence within us. Very cool. Love that, and they do give quite a bit more information on it as well. And I think that is everything. Oh, the empath. So the empath oil in the little crystal that comes with it. So, oh, okay, so empath natural perfume, tumbled Apache tear. Sorry if I said that wrong. And then, so it says about the crystal alchemy kit, you're not only a reflection of the energy within you, but the energy around you. This thoughtfully crafted crystal alchemy kit Words energy that can weigh down your vibration and jeopardize your inner balance, soothing it as strengths the, res the resonance locked within it. The seasonal crystal kit facilitates the expression of emotions, whether to be released or honored, serving your highest good around the clock. 
So very cool. And they do, of course, like I said, give more info there as well. So definitely let me know what you think about this box. I have another one coming, so I'm excited to see kind of like a side-by-side -side of the different months and seasons that they that they have and i'm really loving this witch's trunk right here so even if you are to get the individual um kits together or the individual kits separately i think it would be a great way to kind of just give a little gift to yourself each month and get something special because i absolutely love the magic behind this this is definitely my favorite one and then this oil is also delicious as well so let me know what you thought down below. If you made it to the very end of this video, leave a butterfly emoji out down in the comments. And yes, so I think that is everything. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining me. I would love for you to subscribe and become part of the Honey Coven. And we have so many fun things coming up. I guess some announcements um, here at the end of the video. I do have, like I said, my ancestral connection Honey Box now available on my site. I'm so excited. I have more um, things coming in pretty quickly so I should be able to keep it updated and continue providing that box and then from now on I will be working on the next shadow honey shadow the next shadow work honey box so stay tuned for that I also I also I'm so excited to say have some new programs up on the Botanica so you can now become an affiliate of the Bumblebee Botanica and you can earn a 5% back for any sales that you generate. And then you can also give your honeys a 10% coupon. So you can go find that at the Botanica if you go into the drop down window, kind of right where you would create a site or log in or create a, an account or log in. And then I have also created a loyalty program for all the honeys that have accounts. And if you wanna create an account, you can become part of this too. So you can earn different rewards and different discounts the more points you gain and then at the very um the very top reward is to get a free item so i think i know what that's going to be i'm not sure if i put it up there yet or not but it's going to be good so definitely go check out those new programs and yes thank you so much for joining me i will talk to y'all later blessed be bye <laughs>